Welcome to Smart Remarks, where it's okay to wish me a Merry Christmas. Unless those evil liberals take it away. It was a couple years ago on a Saturday afternoon. I was sitting here at the office and we get a call from a woman who was outraged! She was outraged! As so many conservatives often are. Uh, it was the Christmas season, and the salon where she got her hair done had actually taken down its Christmas tree because it didn't want to offend non-Christian customers. My caller, whom I suspect was probably a big Bill O'Reilly fan, was upset about this, and she wanted something done. They are violating my rights, she said. And, and, you know, I didn't get into it with her on the phone because, you know, you want to be nice and polite on the phone. But what I wanted to say to her was, no. No, they aren't. No! You know, every single year we do this, egged on by the likes of O'Reilly, we'll do it live! aggrieved conservative victims go in search of people or businesses who don't say Merry Christmas or who don't display a Christmas tree. Can't do it. You know, why would a business not display a Christmas tree? I mean, you know, maybe they have customers who are Jewish or atheist or, or Muslim. I know, hard to believe, but those people are out there and maybe the business simply wants to be as inclusive as possible. But for this caller, for the likes of O'Reilly, that doesn't really matter because their sense of cultural superiority has been violated. What does that mean? They're going to have their pound of flesh. They're going to have their pound of Christmas. But exactly what do they propose doing? I mean, what? Are we going to have laws that require businesses to have Christmas trees or require businesses to say Merry Christmas? Actually, one Utah legislator has proposed something very similar to this. He wouldn't require anything, but his bill asks that retailers include Merry Christmas in their holiday greetings to customers. There's no provisions for, you know, what happens if they don't do this. It's, as I said, it's not required. But what happens if the businesses don't comply? What happens if the businesses continue to say, look, you know, we have a diverse group of customers. We want to be as inclusive as possible. What then? Maybe we do get legislation that forces them to say Merry Christmas. Maybe we do get legislation that requires Christmas trees. But should the state be involving itself in something like this? I mean, I suspect my caller, I suspect the likes of O'Reilly think so. You know, maybe when it comes to Christmas, free speech has to take a back seat. Or maybe these people are all just crazy.